Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker insisted today he hasn't interfered in any way in Special Counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. His much-anticipated testimony came during an oversight hearing before the House Judiciary Committee, now controlled by Democrats. Lisa Desjardins reports. Congresswoman, I am the acting Yes or no? Have you appeared The temporary head of the Department of Justice faced a long building barrage from House Democrats. Congresswoman, I have not It has been 10 years before. Witness will answer the question as asked, please. The focus, special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation and whether DOJ ever tried to help President Trump or tried to target him. Did you discuss or share your private opinions of the special counsel investigation with the chief of staff, Trump family members and others? Did Rod Rosenstein give the special counsel the authority to investigate specific Americans? Whitaker, who oversees Mueller's investigation, insisted he has done it by the book. There has been no event, no decision that has required me to take any action, and I have not interfered in any way with the special counsel's investigation. Democrats the pressed on whether he's president. talked to the president. It's a yes or no question. Have you communicated anything uh, you learned in that briefing to pre about the investigation to President Trump? Yes or no? As I've said earlier today in my opening remarks, I do not intend today to talk about my private conversations with the president of the United States. But to answer your okay. question, I have not Any talked to the president of the United States about the special counsel's investigation. Meanwhile, some Republicans openly bristled. We started this hearing at 9.30 this morning. It's now 12.30 in the afternoon. And I haven't seen you field a single question from the other side of the aisle about any of the enforcement priorities of the Department of Justice. Whitaker may not be in the hot seat much longer. The nominee to permanently run justice, William Barr, could be confirmed next week. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Lisa Desjardins.